Hello, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. Casio have been on a bit of a roll this year. They've introduced some really interesting G-Shocks for their 40th anniversary. You recently saw me review the recrystallized version of one of their original G-Shocks or the original G-Shock. Also, the main Casio brand has been releasing some interesting models as well. And in particular, the one that we're going to review today, which is the LF20W. If you're not so much a vintage Casio, buff like I am, you may not realize that this is a re-release of one of their classic models and that was the Casio Twin Graph AE200 and unbelievably that watch was released in 1985 even though this still looks like quite a modern design. More importantly does this watch honor that original design or does it sacrifice a little because they've opted to go with a plastic case instead of the metal case and metal bracelet that that original watch had. You guys decide at the end once we finish the review and then let me know in the comments section down below. So let's flip the camera around and dive straight in. When Casio announced this watch, I was all over it. And good job I did because currently they're completely sold out. And they were only released a few days ago for a very nice price of $29.95 US dollars. Before we dive into the review, let's address the elephant in the room. This watch is smaller. Well, smaller than what I thought it was going to be. Now, granted, I wear a large Seiko Sumo most days. But as an example, here is the watch next to the new recrystallized G-Shock. As you can see, there's quite a difference. And here it is next to a 1979 Seiko LCD watch. And finally, here it is on a wrist shot on my 7.2 inch wrist. The watch measures in at 37.8 by 33.7 and only 8 0.6 millimeters thick and any hopes of putting this one on a NATO to bulk it out a little bit may be dashed because it only has a lug width of 16 millimeters. If you can get over the size, and I'm not quite sure I can yet, but we'll see as the review goes on. But if you're comfortable with the size, then the watch packs a lot of features. On the home screen here, you can cycle through four different time zones, which is really handy if you're traveling. The next screen we have a world time which has over 48 cities. There is a multi alarm with five daily alarms. We have a countdown timer and a stopwatch. The watch features water resistance, which judging by what I found online is around 30 meters, I'm guessing. Here is a graph that Casio has on their website showing it all, but it should cover you for most activities. I guess somewhat surprising or unsurprising, this watch for $30 has more features than this 40th anniversary G-Shock, which I paid $300 for. So you really are getting a lot of watch for your money. The band is very comfortable with a plastic tang and buckle. Casio says the band is made from bio-based materials. I'm going to assume this is the same as the G-Shock's biomass resin. That resin is made from materials extracted from castor seed and corn. There is some marketing jargon about carbon being absorbed by plants as they grow so there's a carbon offset there i'm sure there's some interesting science behind it but to me it feels just like normal resin bands so i think that's a big win for the biomass you're not sacrificing anything or getting a weird feeling band because they've gone for a more sustainable resin for the band the case is their standard material but looks great in this gray finish they also do a black and white version as well this color i would say is very close to admiralty gray or battleship grey. The buttons are very crisp and easy to operate. They protrude enough that you don't have to really dig your fingers into them. They're very easy to operate. The backlight is great. It really illuminates the dial as opposed to just a small corner. This has an orange tone to it as we can see here. The LCD is clear although on my one there is some translucency to the numbers when viewed straight on. I'm not sure if the battery is going out but if we change the angle slightly it's much clearer. I'm not sure if this is something consistent with these models and to be honest most people wouldn't particularly notice this. The text on the dial is clear and sharp. I personally love the look of having the digital and analog display. The analog even has a second hand. This watch would be really good if you're teaching kids how to tell the time on an analog watch because you have both the analog and digital displays at the bottom. We also have a 10 second counter. This is fairly useless in normal timekeeping setting but it does have an interesting animation when going from mode to mode. 
and it really comes into its own when you're using it for the countdown timer or the stopwatch. The cool thing with these model also is the analog always stays at the current time. You can view your elapsed or countdown time on the stopwatch or timer without sacrificing being able to see the current time. Overall, I think this is a great watch from Casio and a bargain at $30. Casio does a great job of keeping popular models in their catalogue for decades. And when they do release classic models, they don't make you pay through the nose for them like the recent Timex Ironman watch or the Timex QLCA. Unfortunately for me, this watch is just a little bit small for what I like to wear. If you have smaller wrists or like smaller watches, this would be great. It's also a great unisex model or a gift for kids getting into learning about watches. I would love to see a slightly larger version and also if they could bring back that iconic metal case. I think that would really add to it and bring that vintage element back because Timex did do a fairly good job with theirs but I'm sure Casio could do a much better job. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments section down below. Is this a model that caught your eye as well? It's a shame that they've sold out, but usually Casio do bring watches back into stock if they've been popular. Let me know in the comments section down below. If you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. See you next time on Casual Watch Reviews.